Hello everyone, I am Peter 86 er coach of your Mail Mudkips. Before I get into the team review, um, you might be a little confused on why we skipped week 6 and we're straight into week 7. Unfortunately, there was some sort of miscommunication with my opponent and he just couldn't, he didn't respond, I don't know what it was. And so I got the forfeit win. Unfortunately, and fortunately enough, you know, it, it, it made me the one seed. I got a plus four differential off that game, and I got the win. And so I'm not the one seed. Usually that's be something to be excited about, but it doesn't feel as good just because I didn't win to get the first seed. I just sat around on my bed. I lay, I lay down, and I was the first seed. So that brings us into this game, where we're facing Justin or Just Two Schmoove. And he's been cooking. This feels like the perfect game to prove ourselves. To prove that we don't need forfeit wins to make it to the first seed. And his team is scary as hell. <laughs> he has, um, so far the MVP favorite by like, um, it's by five kills. And that's Bisharp. <laughs> I know, Bisharp. Doesn't really sound all that threatening, but it can Terra, it can Swords Dance, it can lower its attack with Defiant because it has Defiant. So it's really scary, incredibly terrifying. So you could see why I said 13 kills, and we actually have someone. I we have tied for second with. It's either tied or in like third, and that's um Shiftry who are looking. We are looking to get him that dub today. So yeah, he has Gouging Fire, which we don't know what happened. Uh, the person I faced in week five, he dropped like a bunch of Pokemon, including Gouging Fire and Cloud Sire. Thankfully, no one picked up Cloud Sire. He was literally just such a big problem for my team. So thankfully, no one picked up Cloud Sire. But he has Gouging Fire, which again, it's a pretty big problem because you know this team isn't really a team that you want to bring um, Rain against because he has that Nine Tails, which can just get rid of our Sun or Rain. So of course we're bringing Sun, Torkoal, um, I'm not bringing Heat Rock, damp, whatever rock it is that extends Sun, cause I, th I have a first turn move that I want to do and that's um, Overheat to set up Sun and potentially catch the Ninetale switch in. Ninetale is going to get chunked by Torkoal, um, it's not like, we're, we're not, you know, max special attack, but it's still uh, Overheat from a Torkoal. And if that hits, we are now in, like, even if, it, like, Ninetales doesn't come in, we can just switch to something that Revenge kills Ninetales, which we have quite a lot of, because this team is so fast. Um, so, yeah, Torkoal, he's, he's going to be able to just um, overheat, and we're going to be able to get set up throughout the game, and he's really bulky. But we want to make sure we win this weather war. So, Pelipper, you're on the squad. I'm... In all actuality, um, we're just bringing Pelipper to deal with Gouging Fire, because um, in Sun, Gouging Fire kind of goes stupid, and Pelipper just shuts that down. Um, he could have like something like Rock Slide, but uh, without one Dragon Dance, um, Pelipper just sits on it. And I do have Feather Dance and Roost, um, just in case if he tries anything, he's not going to be able to set up past Pelipper. So um, that's just one thing I'd like to add. It, it, I'm not really planning for like um um us to go rain but it is still a mode and that's why i have damp rock so shift tree we need you to get mvp my guy like you're too good but also this thing he's in his bag he has like a bag of tricks and this man is in it he has um swords dance and upper hand upper hand is really big move um because it stops it stops um bishop Bisharp can't do anything. Um, he's gonna sucker punch against us because we usually have nothing against Bisharp. And, like, I feel like a lot more likely is what to happen is, like, I, instead of, like, um... Instead of having... He, I think he'd rather think I have a fire move, so he's just gonna try and take me out now. So, uh, upper hand to catch the Bisharp, and it does, like, 50%. No, it does a lot more than 50%. Um, at first, I was going to do Special Shift Tree, but I have way too much special Pokemon on my team. So, um, 
I, I decided to go um, physical shift strength and sword stance since it's a lot more strong. And 148 speed outspeeds all of his Pokemon without a scarf. The only one that doesn't outspeed with a scarf is um it's I'm trying to remember, but it's oh one second. It's I think. It outspeeds, it doesn't outspeed Nine Tails and Manaphy, which Manaphy I'm fine with having no scarf and Nine Tails same thing. So yeah, upper hand sword stance, Terra Blast, Leaf Blade. Um, Terra Poison, Terra Blast go stupid this game, and it's a really good thing to resist Fairy. So, um, Walking Wick, he he's off the bench because uh, week five he was not coming. Um, I am running max speed and then um 252 special attack. Uh, choice Specs Protosynthesis. This is going to be a special attack boosting nature. Um, I wanted to go max speed just because um, I, I need to be able to possibly speed tie with nine tails if that's the case. But if anything, um, I should out to be nine tails. <laughs> Hydro Steam Flip Turn what, Dragon Pulse Weather Ball. We're bringing Weather Ball Walking Wake because it just seems very spammable. Like, in rain, we want to press uh, Weather Ball instead of Hydro Steam, and if we're in sun, we don't have to use Flamethrower in rain. It's just going to be stronger than Flamethrower, and it's going to be more spammable in rain, so yeah. Sandy Shocks! That goat right there! Um, we're bringing out Choice Scarf, um, Max Special Attack, and then 176 Speed with the Timid Nature. Um, Volt Switch, Earth Power, Thunderbolt, and Thunder is really good into his team. I have no coverage on this thing, and this thing could run Flash Cannon, so I want his Nine Tails to be scared of that. But even then, Thunderbolt does a lot of damage to Nine Tails, anyways. Um, so yeah, Thunderbolt and Thunder, just so I could use Thunderbolt and Sun, Thunder and Rain. I I want to be able to use both. Earth Power and Volt Switch. Um, Earth Power is good into his team, and then Volt Switch is just so I could switch out. I have one, two. Three, four. I have four ways to um, I I have momentum, which is really good on this team because you want to be able to switch in between your big threats and just press holes. So yeah, that's pretty big. Um, final Pokemon I'm bringing is oh, Tom and Tom. Actually, a really good Pokemon. It it, it really does just kind of sit on on uh, what's his name again? It sits on Great Tusk, which is a pretty big problem. Well, it's not a big problem for my team, because he loses to to most of the Pokemon. He beats Sandy Shocks, loses, 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 beats. Only beats uh, two Pokemon. And these are like the only two Pokemon on the team that actually lose to him. And technically, um, Cobb Roger loses, but it's it's not like that for long, because I can tear it. So yeah, Strange Steam um, is good here. Will-O-Wisp good here toxic spikes he doesn't have a poison type that's grounded so that's really good here and defog just because i don't want hazard to stay up on my side in case like he brings something like toxic spikes against me which i don't think he will but he definitely could see so yeah, a strange team will always toxic spikes to fog really good moves that so yeah once again uh that's the squad i'm bringing both rain and sun um it's not something that i want to like abuse like rain and sun i don't want to keep bringing that but I think just because he has a, two, a, a weather Pokemon, I want to win this weather war. So here we have um, Walking Wake, Shift Tree, Sandy Shocks, uh, Weezing, Pelipper, and Torkoal. Once again, his team is scary. Some things I want to look out for is that Manaphy is actually really scary with Assault Vest and Max Special Defense. It kind of sits on um, Walking Wake. But if it's, if it's uh, AV Manaphy... That's honestly good for me, because then it's not Tail Glow, which it could just run away with the game. So yeah, Gouging Fire is good, because he in Sun, he's broken. Um, Bit Sharp, really scary. Nine Tails, really scary. Um, then just, like, there's, like, it's a really good team. I, I, I'm not taking away from that, but it's just kind of like, some of his Pokemon, I think I match up good against. Like, I think Gyarados could be good here, but it's just like... I'm mainly special attacker, so you never, you don't really want intimidate support. And you already have a bulky water in Manaphy, and Gyarados loses to um, Sandy Shock, so. 
Uh, Komala, yeah, I, I think I've said er everything that I needed to. So, um, that being said, I need to prove why I'm the one seed. So let's get right into the battle. All right, hello everyone. I'm Gunnar Sixer, coach of Euro Maryland Mudkips. And uh, this is the battle. Um, I think I'm just gonna do pretty much the planned lead that I wanted. Uh, we see no gadget and fire, and we do see Appleton, Bisharp, and Dudo, which is a little scary. Um, I'm gonna go pull up um, the Terra types right now of his team, because um, um, I need to keep those in mind. Okay, uh, yeah, it's just Bisharp and Appleton. So, <sighs> I, I think I'm just gonna do the planned lead that I had, and that's just Torkoal. Um, if he goes nine tails, we underspeed and we get the sun up instead. And now, um, this is actually better. I don't actually need to overheat here, right? Because he probably goes to something like Manaphy. And I think I'll just uh, stealth rock them. Or I could switch. Right? Um. I'll just stealth rock. Yeah, Manaphy. That's fine. So now what to do here? Um. We can't go Sandy Shocks. Let's. Let's just check Shift Tree and Manaphy. A learning voice that is only 75. So no matter what, we're good here, right? And if, and if he Scald burns me, I'm, I'm fine. So let's go Shift Tree. Tail Glow. Um, that is scary, but uh... Leaf Blade does... It's a guaranteed 2 KO. And I have, like, no options against this. So, Leaf Blade. Um. Yeah, I guess. Appleton comes in. What does Appleton do to us? Uh, good Dragon Tail. And, but. Poison. It's actually 60. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna swords dance and now we're actually in a really good position here I, I tear poison tear blast yep that should yeah that that's a KO oh wait <laughs> Now he now knows I'm upper hand. And he could be like Choice Scarf. <laughs> but also, he has like, um... What does he do against... I mean, let's just go Ditto. Um, how do I... Attack. Terra Poison. I win this, right? Um, he was first. Aww. I don't want to give him that. Um, do I Leaf Blade? Leaf Blade does the most amount of damage. It could crit. So, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, he's Terra Poison! He's not Poison! I sold that hard. Okay. He's gonna Leaf Blade. And I know he has, like, nothing for me. I'll just go Torkoal again. That's fine with me. Right? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I could go Tom and Tom instead, actually. Because that's even less answers. And I get to get up key spikes. Yeah. That yeah, sped me, right? Yeah. What comes in here? What comes in here? 
I, I just seen I just drained steam. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's go, Roshi. Yikes. <laughs> kind of getting lucky here. <laughs> Let's just overheat. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Uh, I actually could just go Splinter. No, because then he could just go Ditto. Right? What is a pretty good... I, I think, uh, actually, Weezing is actually just... But it lets him get up. Let's him get up a tail glow. But I could kind of just sack Shiftry. And I don't want to give him um, Ditto and Sun. Let's go Tom and Tom. Uh, you could go Ditto. I'm fine with that. You could go Bisharp. I'm extra fine with that. I have Willow Wisp. Um, Great Tusk is good here. He goes Bisharp. Let's Willow. Yeah, it speeds. I got the. Uh, I missed though. I miss. I miss. I miss. I miss. I miss. So this is actually. Right? Yeah, this is fast. Um. Where is he? Torkoal. On a. On a Bisharp. Wait, don't. On a Bisharp. Um, yeah, Iron Head is like negative damage. So I can just go. This. Does like negative damage. And I could Will O Wisp him, which. Another miss, huh? No, that that was the wrong play. That that was the wrong play. Yeah, Ice Beam. I sacked him, but I didn't really need to. This Manaphy is becoming more and more annoying. Um, it actually is coming really, really annoying. Sandy Shocks versus a Manaphy. Thunder is the only thing that one shots. Okay. If I just volt, because I don't get the kill here. It's hydration. Um. I go. Plus three murders. Yeah. Does it does anything take anything? Actually this is the one thing that takes something. Walking wake is the only one and I have speed. So I can just drag bulls. Actually. Really good here. Please don't learn voice. Scald uh, it gets the burn. That's fine. That's fine. Dragon pulse. Always kills here. And he doesn't have a really good switch in. So we'll just DP. Dragon Pulse. We got a kill here. It gets the Dragon Pulse, right? Yeah. We do this. Um, we go straight into Weezing. Because we do have a. Re we we, we kind of do have a revenge killer. It's Weather Ball. Go walking, wake. Two fifty-two. 
modest, but instead it's choice scarf. Um, and it's pressing weather ball. I think that's 20. If I'm about to add it. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. Um, it only does 20%, so we can just kind of go. You. Yeah. Right? Because if you weather ball again. Then I know you outspeed me, and if you and I'm choice scarf, so I just earth power. Yeah, you're scarfed. Um, I don't think he has the tools. Yep, he doesn't have the tools. I can kind of just go, uh, draw the mouth. Yeah. Oh, that was actually the wrong play. Um, just great Tuskety. Based on him doing 18. Per Wait, let's just check. Pelipper. Because this is still losable. Um, let's check Ice Spinner. It actually is defensive. So now I can know. I know it's defensive. So, um, let's go my walking wake. Earthquake, there's 51. We're at 60. We go walking wake. Yeah, that's... I, I had speed most of the time, too. Headlong, yeah, that gets the kill. That gets the kill. Um. <laughs> Shoot. Did I sell? <laughs> yeah, I should've done this. Should've done that. I should've done that. I. Um, let's go Bisharp, Sucker, against Sandy Shocks. If it goes Terra Flying, Thunder just kills. And we have backups. Right? Because, okay, let's look. Let's look at this. Sucker Punch only does 44. So, two Thunders takes him out before he gets out. Uh, I have to be above 80. Whew. That's with Adamant. Um. I'm gonna Thunder. This is what I need to do. He's, he's wasting time. I roost. This is super tricky. I might not win this. I don't have any of my abusers. Yeah. I'll do this. Still doesn't kill. And I get the kill? This is fine. This is fine. Right? Yeah, this is fine. Pelipper, Pelipper cleans up. Okay. I always feather dance, right? Um, I, I know... 
could have one more move, but it's fine. I, I just need to weaken this as much as possible. I'm, I'm gonna get this to minus six. I'm gonna roost. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stop stalling. Um, th this Pelipper just killed him. <laughs> This Pelipper just killed Great Tusk. Um, I'ma just hurricane twice. Yeah, this should be GG's. 96%. Yes! We have done it. We show that we are the one seed. Six and one. Yes. Week eight. We faced basically a, a accumulation of everything. Oh my goodness. I, I'm, I'm going to save that for next week. I think we played this really well. Besides not um, <laughs> terror blasting the ditto. I think we played really well. And thankfully, I, I, I had a jetpack on Torkoal. That really helped me. I think Torkoal... And, and Pelipper balled out that game. Unironically, they did so well. So GG's to my opponent, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.